Why do you think the Mission Impossible movies aren't bigger box office hits despite getting great reviews? Um, It's literally a 30-year-old franchise at this point in time. They were the biggest movies. The first, like the second one was huge. Yeah, Mission Impossible 2 was the second highest grossing movie of the year 2000 behind How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So when you're the second highest grossing film, you're a massive hit. But it's a hit from a different era. That's kind of, what, to some extent, what makes them still feel fresh is that they're they're kind of doing old school thrills and action rather than the CGI stuff. That like that's the the appeal, but that isn't the reason that everybody else does this other stuff because the other stuff is even more broadly accessible. But like you, you have to remember, there was a time that they were the top one, and funnily enough, that's when the reviews weren't nearly as good, and then the whole industry moved in a different direction and it stayed still like I'm going to do it that old school way, but better and better and better. And Tom's getting crazier and crazier. And so they perfected their thing over 30 years. So the reviews keep being fantastic, but the industry has gone in other places. You know, is it terribly surprising that a action franchise with a 60 year old man is in a billion dollar franchise? That's not surprising. Like he, he did that with one movie, Top Gun Maverick, but that's by far his biggest movie of all time he's ever been in. And then Fallout, I think, is his second highest grossing. And so that one wasn't far off from a billion, which for a old school practical effect stunt action movie is fantastic. The question is, why did this most why did the most recent one have that fall off? I'm not sure. I don't have a great theory as to what happened there. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.